As kids, we'd always hope to go on an adventure, find secret passages in our home, or better yet, find treasure. But that still hasn't changed even though we're no longer kids. After watching today's video, you'll likely climb up your attic and do some cleaning. And who knows, you may even find some collectibles up there that are actually worth money. From treasure packed attics to secret passages hidden in various homes, here are 20 crazy things found in people's homes. Number 20. Wads of cash found in empty Nigerian apartment. In April 2017, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission received a tip from a whistleblower who had reported on a Facebook post about suspicious activities when they noticed someone moving bags into and out of an apartment in Lagos. Some other different sources claim to have sometimes seen a haggard-looking woman in dirty clothes appearing at the apartment building with multiple bags. Given these reports, the anti-corruption unit on Wednesday stormed the seventh floor of a residential building, supposedly the building in these reports. And upon entering the apartment, they found three fireproof cabinets hidden inside the dresser. The cabinets were full of neatly stacked wads of cash in US dollars, UK pounds, and Nigerian Naira bills. And after counting and calculating, they arrived at a total of 43 million US dollar bills, 35,000 UK pounds, and 75,000 Nigerian Naira. Which was immediately seized due to the reasonable fact that such an amount of money was gotten through unlawful means. That aside, Nigeria has struggled with corruption and looted funds for decades. According to the anti-corruption squad, investigations are still going on to verify its source or possibly those involved. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Old Treasure Trove of Photos from the 1800s Discovered As kids, we all wish to find treasure someday, and even as adults, we still look forward to finding treasure, as in the case of David Whitcomb, a New York State lawyer, who purchased what was to be his law office in Geneva in December 2020, but never expected to find a trove of historical treasures inside a hidden attic. He initially planned to set up office space on the first two floors, while the third floor was to be an apartment, though it had to be completely renovated. But then, he and a friend noticed a broken portion of the ceiling on the third floor when they came across what looked to be floorboards above. According to David's interview with the Epoch Times, none of the paperwork said anything about an attic, and none of the prior owners had realized there was an attic. And it was well concealed that, if you weren't looking for it, you weren't even going to notice it. After finally gaining access to the attic, David located a wealth of old photographs, ornate vintage frames, and photography equipment from the late 1800s to early 1900s. It became clear that this attic had been used by a photographer a very long time ago. Moreover, this photographer wasn't just any photographer. He had been a famous photographer who went by the name James E. Hale. And apart from the historical collection, they also found a photo of the famous women's suffragist Susan B. Anthony, whose portrait now hangs in the U.S. Library of Congress. Most of the other finds were auctioned off, but David decided he couldn't make such an amazing find and not keep a few pieces of evidence. Number 18. A Million Dollar Find Have you ever thought about what's hidden inside your attic? From old clothes to holiday decorations and bins of baby toys, it can be a real chore to dig through your old treasures. But this Tennessee man thought it was necessary to do some digging, and he actually did. After his uncle passed away, he discovered the biggest unopened collections in baseball card history hidden in his 90-year-old aunt's attic. The caller revealed he had boxes from the early 1960s, Tops and Fleer football, 1959 Fleer Ted Williams, and other sealed packs. The black and white cards were from the Philadelphia Gum Company from the first year that they had a milestone set. The 1948 Bowman Little Big Set was the first mainstream issue since 1941 due to the World War II paper shortage. You can find nine Hall of Famesters, including rookie cards of Stan Musial, Yogi Berra, and Ralph Kiner. It's so amazing that for a half century, his uncle had kept the packs untouched in a Stroh's beer box almost as old as the cards themselves. His late uncle owned and operated a confectionery company that produced non-sports bubblegum cards for popular TV shows in the 1960s. And at one point, he had bought the various sports cards for research, hoping to break into sports. Clearly, this unopened material sparked the curiosity of the collector, like a locked treasure chest, 
and the decision on whether to open these ancient artifacts was determined by the winner of the auction on June 15th, 2017. Number 17. Rare U.S. Gold Coins Found in the Backyard of a California Couple A Northern California couple out walking their dog on their gold country property stumbled across a treasure trove of rare gold coins. This treasure find went on sale, with one coin selling for at least $15,000. The coins were dated from 1847 to 1894 and have been valued at a whopping $11 million. Several coins were auctioned at the Old San Francisco Mint and one of them, which was an 1874 $20 double eagle that is usually worth $4,250, had sold for $15,000. It's like they found the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Don Kagan, whose firm is handling the sale, says most of the remaining 1,400 coins went on sale on Amazon.com and Kagan's.com after the auction. Sadly, the pair are choosing to remain anonymous to avoid a renewed gold rush to their property by modern-day prospectors armed with a metal detectors. Number 16. Famous Norman Rockwell Painting Found Behind Fake Wall one American illustrator, Norman Rockwell's most famous painting, was found hidden behind a fake wall in its owner's home. This popular painting titled Breaking Home Ties, which Henry, comic strip illustrator Don Trash Sr. brought from Rockwell when the two were neighbors in Vermont, was sold to an anonymous telephone bidder for $15.4 million. And surprisingly, its price had eclipsed a previous Rockwell record set by Homecoming Marine, which had sold for roughly $9.2 million. Breaking Home Ties appeared on the cover of the Saturday Evening Post magazine in 1954 and was voted the second most popular cover in the magazine's history. So apparently they've had some replica just sitting there in the Rockwell Museum? Well, not anymore. Number 15. A couple finds revolutionary war treasures buried under home. What would you do if you started finding revolutionary war era artifacts while renovating your home? That's exactly what happened to Melissa and Matt Dunf, who accidentally unearthed the treasure trove of 18th century artifacts right beneath their home in Philadelphia. It was initially a latrine before they had plumbing in Philadelphia. They would dig these holes into the ground and line them with bricks and build a commode. Somehow, this finding made Melissa and her husband become amateur archaeologists after discovering a series of artifacts, such as glass bottles, plates, pots, and more, that were discarded down a privy hole during the 18th century. They found a lot of things from very specific periods, most of them relating to the Revolutionary War. Number 14. 40 Years Old Star Wars Discovery YouTuber Matt Bryant was at his mom's place for a visit when she asked him to get her something from the attic. But instead of just retrieving what he was sent to, Matt stood there realizing that there could be some stuff that previously belonged to him. He basically starts looking around until he finds a box labeled Matt's Junk. He dug to the bottom of the box and found his Millennium Falcon from 1979 when Matt was only 8 years old. The ship seems to be missing its satellite, but other than that, this 40 years old toy is still perfectly in shape and is still worth the find. Another second thing Matt had discovered was a Star Destroyer. Had it remained untouched and unboxed, then these 40 years old vintage collections coupled with the huge demand for Star Wars toys, the price could skyrocket into orbit. David Wilson Turner, head of the toy department at Hanson's, had mentioned that when original vintage Star Wars toys are untouched and in their original packaging, they're likely unmissable for collectors. Just like the unopened TIE Bomber, authentic Imperial spacecraft from the 1980 film The Empire Strikes Back, which was discovered at an auctioneer's valuation day. The die-cast metal toy is expected to spark major interest among fans of the cult movies when it went under the hammer on June 20th, 2019. Number 13. The Nightmare Discovery Les Stagg was washing his car on the driveway of his house when he noticed one or two hornets flying close to one of the corners of his roof. At first, he thought maybe it's just a wasp nest, but after noticing a bit of the nest poking through his roof, Les made the decision to call independent pest control to see what they'd make of his wasp dilemma. And upon inspecting Les's attic, however, the pest control worker was left horrified. She invited Les up to the loft to come see for himself what was going on on his roof. Les admitted that he initially thought it may have been a wasp's nest in the attic. But after receiving the professional opinion of the independent pest control worker, he realized that it wasn't that of wasps, but of hornets. Les mentioned that the pest control worker had to wear a protective suit in order to remove the nest as the hornets were swarming around her. 
One hornet even stung her on her shoulder through her suit. But it was probably just a sting for her, and she's okay, plus the nest has been taken care of. Number 12. 20-foot-long python in home it's definitely anyone's guess on how long the 75-year-old Englewood resident Bob Vander Hershen and his wife had been sharing their home with a massive reptile. But he claims that they had been hearing noises coming from the space above their ceiling for about two years. Vander Hershen had said that they first made the revelation on July 17, 2017, when his son said he suspected the culprit of the errant noises could be a snake. He then saw the snake through an opening in the utility room's ceiling. but by the time he'd gotten there, it had disappeared. He basically just assumed it was nothing more than a rat snake, a garden snake common to Florida. But a few days later, Vander Hershen caught a glimpse of about a six-inch portion of the boa. It became difficult to locate the trapper as well, since the officer they had called told the family she believed it was a rattlesnake. Vander Hershen's nephew wanted to kill the snake with a spear, but Vander Hershen didn't want to go that route, saying it was animal cruelty. And after a few attempts on their own to lure the snake out, the family decided to call 19-year-old Mark Lampart to help retrieve the snake. Lampart, a landscaper by day, lives in the Englewood area and traps snakes as a hobby alongside his girlfriend, 18-year-old Kylie Wolford. So, on July 24th, he and Wolford arrived at the Van der Hershen's home and tried to push the snake out of the small space with a PVC pipe. But as soon as the snake saw him, it started heading in the other direction. Lampart then reached his arm out as far as he could and grabbed onto the snake's tail, which he handed to his girlfriend, Wolford. The two then pulled it out. Number 11. Renaissance Painting Found in Kitchen in France A tiny early Renaissance masterpiece was found in a French woman's kitchen during a house clearance. This iconic painting, Christ Mocked, by the 13th century Florentine painter, Cimabue, had hung for decades above a cooking hot plate in the open-plan kitchen of a 1960s house near Compiègne, north of France. It had never attracted much attention from the woman in her 90s or her family, who thought it was simply an old icon from Russia. It might have somehow ended up in the bin during the house move that summer had it not been spotted by an auctioneer who had come to value furniture. This price piece has fetched more than 24 million euro at auction, making it the most expensive medieval painting ever sold. It was sold for four times more than the actual pre-auction estimates. Measuring 20 by 26 centimeters, it was believed to be part of a diptych consisting of eight small panels. Though the bidder remains unknown, the Paris-based auction house mentioned that the foreign museum was among the bidders. The artist Simabue was a pioneer Italian primitive painter, and only about 10 known works of his have survived, but neither of these works was even signed by the artist. Number 10. Love Letters from a WW1 Soldier Hidden in a Wall The letters were discovered after the homeowners hired a contractor to redo their bathroom. This contractor then found letter after letter hidden in the attic wall. According to its contents, the letters dated back to July 1918 from a man named Clement to his love named Mary. Homeowner Phil Matthews had said it was as though they had ghosts because the letters just kept appearing. They'd go up there one day, and the next day there's another batch of letters waiting. But they found out it was the contractor who had found them. The letters really conveyed how Clement felt about Mary. However, instead of just discarding such beautiful findings, the homeowners tracked down Clement's relatives. The good news is that it was a happy ending for the lovebirds, as the homeowners found out that Clement did eventually end up with his true love, Mary. Though no one is sure how the letters ended up in the walls, Mary and Clement's relatives say they're glad they were saved. Number 9. 70 Years Old Secret from World War II We often find stories about people discovering long-lost treasures. Sometimes they're worth a fortune, and sometimes they have more of a sentimental value. Well, such is the case with Rudy Schlatner. Shortly after World War II, Schlatner and his family were forced to flee their home in Czechoslovakia. They were immediately evacuated from the country due to a mass eviction of Germans by the government. When Schlatner got the chance to return to his childhood home nearly 70 years later, he remembered a secret his father had taught him. The house had been made into a kindergarten and there were many changes that made the place almost unrecognizable. But Rudy strongly believed that he would find what his father had left behind before they left their home. This so happens to be a hidden treasure lying around somewhere in the house. He went straight into the attic and was able to locate a loose board with a string attached to it. Funny enough, it's been there for decades and no one seemed to have noticed it. After Rudy loosened the board, they found an entire heap of items his family had left behind. 
Taking a good look at the items, it's hard to believe so much stuff fits in a tiny space. And due to the historical circumstances attached to these items, they had very high value. Number 8. Illegal Abortion Clinic Discovered in Basement of House This shocking discovery in Hannibal, Missouri was made by two workmen who were conducting renovations on the property. The property's owner, William C. Neff, suggested to local television station KHQA that the discovery supports a rumor that the property was once used as an illegal abortion clinic in the 1900s, most likely prior to the 1950s. What's more distressing is the discovery of two fetuses stored in jars. William had said that his parents bought the property in 1950. He mentioned that he was aware that they did medical procedures and stuff and that he was told that they helped a lot of ladies. But that was as much as he knew. He had also mentioned that as a child, his parents had mentioned the similar jars in the basement, but they hardly ever spoke about what they found. Number 7. The Giant Monopoly Board the popular family game which was invented in the early 1900s by Lizzie Maggie is known as Monopoly and is said to have been painted onto the floor by previous owners decades ago. This couple was left shocked when they ripped up an old carpet in their home and discovered a giant Monopoly board painted underneath. The giant board featured chance boxes, a jail, and community chests, railway stations, and classic destinations from the US version of the board, such as Connecticut Avenue and Vermont Avenue. The Reddit user who shared the photo had captioned, While tearing up their carpet, my in-laws found a giant Monopoly board. This post has had more than 1,900 comments. At least they won't get bored the next time they wish to play board games. Number 6. Benjamin Franklin's 1,200 Skeletal Remains in 1998, conservationists were carrying out repairs on 36 Craven, looking to turn Franklin's old haunt into a museum. And surprisingly, from a 1 meter wide, 1 meter deep pit, over 1200 pieces of bone were retrieved, precisely remnants of more than a dozen bodies. Six of these remains were identified as children, and forensic investigations showed that the bones dated to Franklin's day. So this brings us down to the speculations of was Benjamin Franklin a serial killer? As much as you would want to indulge in an episode of Jack the Ripper, no, Benjamin Franklin was not a serial killer. Rather, it was from the encouragement he offered to a young surgeon, William Hewson, to open up his own anatomy school, hence the bones. Now, you might be wondering how that justifies these bones. Well, dissection did not become legal until quite late in the 19th century, and one of the places for hanging was just around the corner from the Franklin house. That aside, there were so-called resurrectionists who could give bodies for anatomy and the likes. Benjamin Franklin had only helped Hewson get elected into the Royal Society, which is still the preeminent body for science today. Number 5. Students discovered an old secret room in their attic. A Reddit user named Mindig, who lives in Norway, had posted that their landlord had informed them about a secret panel in the attic of the house they live in. And according to him, what else to do when you should study for exams and actually go and look? I mean, you could miss out on an epic adventure because you chose to study. But don't do that. Studying is actually more important though the students had no idea at first which room the secret panel was located in. After searching around the entire house, they eventually arrived at the attic and lowered the ladder to gain access. On reaching the top, they were disappointed to find an old IKEA bag and a dusty disused rag, and even with a closer observation, they found nothing. The room had been properly concealed so much that it was very difficult to locate. But nothing stops a treasure hunter from finding treasure, right? One of the students had stretched against one of the attic's walls, and surprisingly it moved. This was how they found the hidden door's location. Unfortunately, these treasure hunters didn't find treasure but an old, long abandoned hideout, or should I say, a second world war hideout. This was dated back to April 9th, 1940, several months after World War II began. The students had also discovered an old handwritten sign that translates, if you have a bad stomach, you don't have access. The room also also had a crude looking alarm system and what seemed to be a map of Western Europe. Number 4. 500 Year Old Library Secret Passage Surprises await Freddie Goodall, who had discovered a lot more than he could ever have thought in his 500 year old Sussex family home. Freddie Goodall was looking through old pictures of his home from the 1800s before it was renovated and had discovered a passageway hidden behind a bookshelf in the home. 
he believes they once extended to nearby buildings and a church. Goodall had posted various updates of his adventure videos of the underground labyrinth on Tipcock and Instagram. In the video clips, he searched around the bookshelf until he finally found the entrance to the passage, which had screws. After undoing the screws, he found a small hole that looked right into the hidden room, and the hidden room connected to passageways and to unused rooms full of cobwebs. Speculating about their original use, Goodall stated that he believed they had been used many years ago for servants to pass from their quarters into the main house. Of course, it was not uncommon for houses to boast secret passages for servants and other staff to use, as they were basically not allowed to use the official corridors and staircases. From the looks of things, the passageways run all the way from one end of the house to the other, and after updates of wandering around the passage, Goodall stumbled upon a safe. He had to invite his friends the next day to try and help open the safe and even take into consideration the suggestions from his comment section on how to open the safe. After sawing and blowtorching, they found out the safe had been bolted from the inside and decided to penetrate it from the back. And after finally cracking it open, the safe did not contain gold or possibly any treasure you must have imagined. Rather, it contained old historical documentation from 1848 relating to the house and other artifacts, including old books from when the house was a school. He also mentioned that he had found a letter written by the owner of Castle Ashby while visiting the house. And although the house is about 500 years old, Goodall said his family had bought it and renovated it around 30 years ago. Number 3. Treasure Hunt for Allen we have heard many stories of people finding treasures in the walls of old homes or finding secret passages. This here is another amazing find by a couple who decided to purchase a fixer-upper which had six previous owners before them. They started working on each room after which they would move on to the next. When it came time to renovate the kitchen, they found a safe in the floor after they tore out the kitchen island. The safe looked a little bit old and was properly built into the floor. They then remembered that when they had first moved in, they found a safe code in the back of a medicine cabinet. And after half a dozen attempts, the safe opened, and inside, they discovered $51,080 mostly in $100 notes, a bottle of James E. Pepper dated 1960, and an old bingo card, and a blue book titled A Guide for the Perplexed by E. F. Schumacher's published in 1977. Inside the book was a black and white photo of a mystery man named Gregory Peck, and written on the back was a message, Alan, I have a book for you you must read. I've underlined a few key passages, and then, on several passages, precisely 1, 7, 11, and 14, there was a series of what seemed to be clues to a treasure hunt. On page 7, there was a map of Arizona, which looked like a bookmark at first, but it wasn't. It was more of a flashcard with an X over the city of Mesa. And on page 11, there was a picture of a house or an old the state rather. They also found another picture in the book which had a note on the back that said, where one tree becomes three. The couple was not sure where the place in the photo was or what the three-headed tree may be. However, on the old bingo card, three numbers had been circled and could possibly be combinations to the save for the three-headed tree may be. Being unable to identify the address or the location of the tree, the couple decided that since the note was addressed to Alan, then hopefully Alan would see this video and comes to claim his quest. This really is an amazing find. Number 2. Little Girl Finds a Secret Room in Her House it's easy to stumble upon an adventure as a child, yet children are unaware of the limitations of the world. Children believed in magic potions, the mischief of fairies, and buried treasures, but very few of them are lucky enough to find a real treasure concealed behind the wall of their bedroom. Funny enough, there are some parents who would go the extra mile to make this imaginative time in a child's life memorable, and one father waited patiently for seven years in order to give his daughter her very own magical adventure she'll probably never forget. This little girl called Emerson K back in 2013 and asked her dad for some pocket money on her sixth birthday. Her dad, Peter Kay, then told her that she could earn some by cleaning out an old, unused storage container. Of course, she had reluctantly agreed, but little did she know she was in for a pirate bounty. The box was full of pieces of metal and old doorknobs, but at the very bottom of the box was a realistically distressed map, and Emerson seemed delighted when she had found out it was of her own house. She noticed that the map had an X marking treasure and a label revealing a secret room, and the shocking revelation was that the treasure's location was in Emerson's bedroom, where she had slept for six years now. However, once inside the room, Emerson found a hollow wall by pounding on it. She became sad because if truly there was treasure inside the walls, how would she get it? But to her greatest surprise, her dad heats up an electric saw while Emerson hops on the bed with her granny and mom. She had put on some protective headphones and watched as her dad sawed through the partition. 
After that, gave way for Emerson to continue her venture. She opened the hatch to find a secret hidden room in her bedroom, without her knowing. Inside the secret room, Emerson thought it to be empty, but looking closely, she found a really tiny treasure chest with a collection of doubloons, necklaces, earrings, and other treats a pirate would possibly hide. Number 1. Van Gogh Painting Dumped in Attic Finding a Van Gogh painting certainly isn't something you see every day, but as of September 2013, a previously unknown oil painting by Vincent Van Gogh had been found in an attic. The painting, known as Sunset at Mont Majeur, is the first full-size Van Gogh painting to emerge in 85 years. It was reportedly banished to a Norwegian attic for more than a century because its owner thought it wasn't original. Researchers had also originally rejected the authenticity of the painting because it was never signed. However, museum experts claim it has since been verified through a letter from the Dutch master to his brother, Theo. Apparently, the painting was done on July 4th, 1888, when Van Gogh was living in Arles, in southern France. Further means that were used to verify the authenticity of the painting were letters, style, and physical materials used. The museum director, Axel Ruger, had mentioned that the painting was from the most prominent period in Van Gogh's career. However, the notoriously self-critical artist wrote that he did not like the painting and that it was well below what he wished to do. And this is why he did not put his signature on it. And that's it for 20 crazy things found in people's homes. Let us know in the comments section if you have made any amazing findings at some point in the time in your life. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time.